All right, welcome everybody uh, to our weekly video update. It is Monday, the week of Monday, May 24th. My name is Rebecca Morris. I'm the president and the founder of the Arizona Builders Exchange. What we're trying to do with these videos is just bring forward a couple of my experts on staff to let them tell you what they see happening in the market, give you some good business opportunities, and hopefully connect you with something coming up in the future. All right, Kristen Amato, our senior public side researcher. Can you give us a few public side uh, opportunities, whether they be open procurements or just project updates? Can you tell me what you see happening right now? Yeah, absolutely. I've got a few of each for you today, some active and some updates. Um, so first is with the city of Mesa, they are requesting RFQs for design services for the Southeast Mesa Library. So this project will include construction of a new 30,000 square foot to 35,000 square foot library in Southeast Mesa. Uh, there is a virtual pre-submittal meeting scheduled for early June, and then the RFQs are going to be due in late June. The total project budget for both design and construction on this project is $16.8 million. Next up with the City of Tucson, they are requesting RFQs for professional landscape architectural services for the Joaquin Murrieta Park project. Uh, this project will include a complete renovation of the existing 43-acre park. There is a virtual pre-submittal meeting scheduled at the end of the week, and then those RFQs are going to be due in early June. Per the project master plan, the estimated cost of construction for this one is $11.9 million. Then the City of Phoenix also has a request out for RFQs. Theirs are for design build services for a fire alarm replacement project at Terminal 4 of the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. So this project is going to consist of providing a turnkey solution for the replacement of the current fire alarm voice evacuation system in Terminal 4, as well as equipping the terminal with newer equipment and updated technologies to provide a safer passenger experience. They do have a virtual pre-submittal meeting scheduled toward the end of this week as well. And then those RFQs are gonna be due in mid-June. Per the RFQ, the combined estimated cost for both design and construction on this project is $9.5 million. Then I do have a few project updates as well. Um, up in the northeastern portion of the state, ADOT is currently working on design for a shoulder widening project along US 191 from Chinle to Black Mountain Wash. Per ADOT, the construction bid for this project will likely be pushed to November 2021, with construction starting in late spring of 2022. Um, ADOT's roadway design team is providing the design services for this project and the estimated valuation is $18 million. The City of Goodyear has announced a recommended award for design build services for Fire Station 188 to the team of Core Construction and Perlman Architects. This project will construct a new approximately 14,800 square foot fire station and has a valuation of $11.9 million. As of March of this year, the tentative constru construction schedule for the project is March 2022 through December of 2022. And then my last update for today is back down in Tucson again. Um, the Grant Road Phase 3 and 4 Alvernon Swan project um, is going to construct roadway improvements, including additional travel lanes, new and wider sidewalks, more signalized crosswalks, um, as well as additional features. This project has an estimated construction valuation of $35 million um, and was designed by HDR Inc. As of March 2021, design is at 100% and the project is currently undergoing utility relocations as well as acquisitions. They anticipate the project going out to bid for, uh, going out to bid in the spring of 2022 with construction then starting in summer of 2022. However, those dates are still contingent on the completion of those utility relocations. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Kristen. Jeffrey, are you, are you on the line with us? I'm here. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh, and uh, you're gonna take us through some private development projects today. I am looking at 3692 River Terrace Master Plan. What can you tell me about this one? All right, so River Terrace is a mixed-use master development in Tucson off of River Road. 
MSW Development is the current owner and applicant for the rezoning process and intends for the development area to be zoned for two sections. The eastern section will be a vertically mixed use market to include residential and retail uses, and the western portion will include multi-story townhomes or apartments of up to five stories. The project is being rezoned with intent to sell to future interested parties who will then decide the exact scope of work as well as awarding their own design and construction teams. Excellent. Uh, you've got some good contact information there. Looks like we've got the land planner and the developer and location, lots of documents. Excellent. Thank you, Jeffrey. So mm -hmm. a really good future lead. And at the end of the day, we don't even know who's going to be developing this. Uh, right now, they're just in kind of early planning stages. All right, I'm going to move on. Uh, project ID 3719 Air Park Logistics Center. What can you tell me about this project? The airport, sorry, the Air Park Logistics Center is a new five building industrial development near the Goodyear Airport. Uh, this development will be split into two phases with the first three buildings being constructed before the final two. At full build out, 2.7 million square feet of warehouse and office space will be available. LGE Design Group is the developer, architect, and general contractor. They anticipate construction of phase one to start in September of this year, and phase two will begin immediately after completion of phase one. Wow, that's actually a huge project. Like I'm looking at our estimated valuation here, it's like $200 million. That's enormous. It's one of the largest industrial parks that we've had in the past couple of years. Yeah, it's, I think it's top five. Wow, yeah, that's huge. Very cool, very cool. So yeah, again, contact information, location, just to kind of place it, you're right, right next to the airport in a good year, uh, air park, excuse me, and uh, documents there. Very cool. Thank you, Jeffrey. Do you have some good updates for us as well? Uh, yes, I have three updates. The first one is going to be for Project 3384, the Clear Sky Rehabilitation Hospital of Avondale. They broke ground earlier this month. Caliente Construction is their general contractor, and Clear Sky anticipates seeing their first patient in June of next year. The next one is 3510, the Electric Mechanica Assembly Plant, which also started construction earlier this month with Wilming serving as the general contractor. They anticipate construction completing in March of next year. And the last one for today is 3410, the San Francisco Square and Aspen Lofts, a dual senior housing and affordable multifamily development in Flagstaff, is now slated to start in quarter four of this year. Tofel Dent is the general contractor on that one. All good updates. That's great. Thank you so much for those, Jeffrey. Thank you as well, again, Kristen. Uh, if you'd like more information about any of the specific projects that we mentioned today, or more information about any of the services we provide, whether it's the online platform for major construction projects, Databex, our twice-weekly magazine, uh, the Arizona Builders Exchange or Aspects Digital Magazine, or our, our uh, industry events where we just kind of connect people with, with each other in the local building industry, you can find all of our contact information on our websites, asbex.com, data-bex.com, or bex-events.com. See you again next week.